Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the sure word for today's audio daily devotion. Today is such a beautiful day, and I feel optimistic and focused. I hope you have a great day. If you're here for the first time, I would be glad if you could subscribe and click the bell icon to receive our notification when we post a new video. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, acquaintances, and social networks. I want to thank you for sharing. Our mission is to deliver the Word of God in spirit and truth. Today's title for the word of encouragement is Grow Your Bamboo Tree. They grow a bamboo tree in China, commonly known as the Chinese bamboo tree. When they sow the seed in the ground and water it, nothing happens till the end of the first year. They continue watering it and nurturing it, but nothing happens till the end of the second year. It fails to sprout even after the end of the third year but the person growing it must continue to irrigate, fertilize, and care for it. You will also be surprised that nothing happens until the end of the fourth year. Then suddenly, in the fifth year, something miraculous and incredible happens. Within one week, it grows up to 90 feet. That's nature at its astonishing best. People growing other trees get results within one season. They can enjoy their crops, plants, and trees within a couple of seasons, but here is a tree that does not even show up till the fifth year but suddenly shoots up to 90 feet in one week alone. That's incredible. Did the Chinese bamboo tree grow in one week or five years? If the person developing the tree had stopped nurturing, watering, and fertilizing it, it would not have shown up in the fifth year. They were consistent in their nurturing because they had faith. But if you see someone growing a tree with nothing to show till the end of the fourth year and still taking care of the bare ground, watering and nurturing it, you are bound to either make fun of the person or call them a maniac. The reason is that you would be operating out of sight, judging things through mindset and beliefs. When people try to question me because I work so hard without seeing the results, I remind them that I am building a skyscraper, not a bungalow. I still look dirty after all these years because the foundation is so deep. I am still digging. The Chinese bamboo tree is a perfect parable of your own experience with personal growth and change. It is never easy. It is slow to show progress and can sometimes be frustrating and unrewarding. But it is worth it, especially if you can be patient and persistent. You need to stay focused and continue to believe in what you are doing even when you do not see immediate results. You might think I am speaking to you alone, but I am also encouraging myself because sometimes, I feel like giving up. Never give up. Keep watering your seeds. Your work matters. Your care matters. Your experience matters. Your investment matters. It will be worth it in the long run. The affirmation for this week's sure word for today. I will not throw away my confidence. It has a great reward. The title for today's series for the sure word for today is Building Self-Confidence, Part 7 of 7. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verses 35 and 36. Quote Cast not away therefore your confidence, which of great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that, after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. Unquote. The way you treat yourself matters because it sets the standards for others. Treat yourself the way you want to be treated. Learn to start doing something nice to yourself because you more than deserve it. Treating yourself like a precious diamond will make you strong. It will build your self-esteem. Take time for yourself. Rest. Play. Take a good nap. Be merry. You are so unique and there is none like you. 
You will always be gentle to yourself when you are kind to yourself. When you feel like being self-critical, think about what you will say to a friend with empathy. Often, you give far better advice to other people than you give to yourself. You are so mean to yourself and kinder to others. You are not happy with someone that is not kind to you. It means you will not be happy with yourself when you are mean to yourself. From today, make it an obligation to start being kind to yourself. Give yourself the respect you deserve from you. Saying yes to other people in matters you need to say no to is a sign of low self-esteem. You will become overburdened, resentful, angry, and even depressed. It is an unhealthy habit. Saying no will not upset any relationship. You do not have to give a reason for saying no. Saying no when it matters will gain your self-respect. By learning to say no instead, you will build self-esteem. Learning to say no can be a powerful way of respecting yourself. Learning to say no is an empowering experience. It is a way of respecting your interests. The more you demonstrate that you value your health, the more you develop a capacity for loving other parts of yourself. Listen to your body and avoid foods that make you irritable or tired. Eating healthy and exercising also can increase positive thinking and help you feel more encouraged about your future. If you spend time with people who care about you, you may find that suddenly it's easier for you to care for yourself. We have reached the end of the Sure Word audio devotion series titled Building Self-Esteem. Welcome to the Sure Word Capsule. A capsule is a tiny tube holding powdered or liquid medicine which you swallow. Capsules are easier to swallow. Capsules are proper when you want to be sure that you are absorbing all the ingredients or want to spike your bloodstream with a specific kind of ingredient. The Sherwood capsule is the medicine for your deliverance, protection, healing, prosperity and safety. You take this capsule by constantly confessing the word of God. I would like you to confess this at least once, twice or three times a day. Whatever you are going through, this word will help you. You will be blessed if you start with me and repeat every word that I confess. To avoid gaps in this recording, I will join you in repeating the short word capsule. Please confess after me. The title for the short word capsule for this series is I Choose Not to Be Anxious. I do not have the spirit of fear. I do not have the spirit of fear. I have a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. I have a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. I am not walking in fear. I am not walking in fear. I am strong and courageous. I am strong and courageous. In and through the Spirit of God alive in me. In and through the Spirit of God alive in me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being my helper today with everything. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being my helper today with everything. I can do what I need today. I can do what I need today. Through your power, giving me strength. Through your power, giving me strength. I am more than a conqueror in every situation. I am more than a conqueror in every situation. Because of your love and power in my life. Because of your love and power in my life. I put on the garment of praise. I put on the garment of praise. Every time I feel depressed. Every time I feel depressed. Thank you, Lord, for inhabiting my praises. Thank you, Lord, for inhabiting my praises and filling me with your joy and strength today and filling me 
with your joy and strength today. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that as I follow and trust you completely, that as I follow and trust you completely, your good plans for me will be carried out. Your good plans for me will be carried out. And no weapon formed against me. And no weapon formed against me. My mind, body, or spirit will prosper in Jesus' name. My mind, body, or spirit will prosper in Jesus' name. Because I meditate on, because I meditate on, believe, honor, trust, and live by your word. Believe, honor, trust, and live by your word. I expect good success. I expect good success in everything you, Lord, have called me to do. In everything you, Lord, has called me to do. According to Mark chapter 11, verse 23. According to Mark chapter 11, verse 23. I can have whatever I believe in my heart. I can have whatever I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth and confess with my mouth therefore i say and believe that therefore i say and believe that i am blessed in my spiritual life i am blessed in my spiritual life my health is perfect my health is perfect my mind is renewed by the word of god my mind is renewed by the word of god my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. The works of my hands and my finances are blessed. The works of my hands and my finances are blessed. Success and prosperity follow me everywhere I go. Success and prosperity follow me everywhere I go. Dear Lord, dear Lord, your divine angelic protection is upon my life. Your divine angelic protection is upon my life. And everyone around me is blessed as well. And everyone around me is blessed as well. Father, I receive all these promises in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I receive all these promises in the name of Jesus Christ. They are all mine in Jesus' name. They are all mine in Jesus' name. I choose not to be anxious, fearful, or worried about my future. I choose not to be anxious, fearful, or worried about my future. Because you, Lord, hold my future. Because you, Lord, hold my future. Order and direct my steps. Order and direct my steps. And every decision today and all my days. And every decision today and all my days. Open the doors you desire me to walk through, Lord. Open the doors you desire me to walk through, Lord. And close every door that is not part of your plan for me. And close every door that is not part of your plan for me. Thank you for leading me by your peace today. Thank you for leading me by your peace today. In Jesus' name, Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. For more inspiration, motivation, encouragement, and spiritual upliftment subscribe to this channel. If you want to support our work, the best way is to subscribe to this channel. For more capsules tailored to meet your needs, visit www.theshoreword.org.uk forward slash capsule. Also, you can request a Shoreword capsule to be created for your challenges. Please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to receive instant notification anytime we publish a new video. Please don't forget to share this audio devotion. Thank you for listening, watching, and confessing along. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.